everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm going to do a get ready with me today that is using uh, my project pan items. I have two project pans going on. One is Love to Project Pan, and one is Finish 8 by April Fools. So that's a lot of products. So I wanted to show you all how I use them, the look I typically use or create with them and all that good stuff. This is going to be kind of a mixture of a talk through and sped up. So if this is something you'd like to see, then just keep watching. All right, so not a hundred percent of these products are going to be Project Pan because I don't have products from every category and that kind of thing. But first, let's start with my wet hair. Let's get it out of my face. Um, <laughs> I have this headband. And I'm going to put on a moisturizer first, a Great Kisser by Soap and Glory. And I've been working on this one for a while. <laughs> kind of working on it in a weird way, but this is not a Project Pan item. I'm just using it. So Next, over that, I am going to put a lip balm that is a Project Pan item. This is a NYX Butter Lip Balm in Lady Fingers. I don't like this by itself. I, it's too drying, so I like to put it over my lip gloss. My face is a little like glowy because I put on my moisturizer already. Andalou Naturals. This is the age to find one. I already put it on, so my face is a little glowy because of it. But alright, so so many products, I don't even know where to begin. Let me start with eyes. I am, if you've been watching my Project Pan Get Ready With Me's or any Get Ready's With Me recently, I've been using the NYX Jumbo Crown in Milk. Um, I'm just going to take, I am panning it still, but I'm panning another primer, so I thought I would use that one in this video. And it's the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this real quickly. The next thing I'm panning is in this quad. It's the Classic Nudes by Physicians Formula. And I'm panning this color right here. And you can see I already have a dip in it. But I'm going to go ahead and put it over that primer to set it using an It Cosmetics, or I'm sorry, an It by Ulta flat shader brush. I don't know, but it looks like this. <laughs> Any flat shader brush will do. So I'm going to put that on both eyes. Alright, I will zoom you in for the run. Alright, for the eyes starting off, I am panning this Avon Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Pencil. It's a cream pencil in Amethyst. And so I'm just going to put it on my lid. You can see it's a little messy, but you know, as in all my get ready's with me, we'll blend it out. So, I don't have any other eyeshadows in my project pan, so I'm just going to go ahead and use what's in my weekly makeup basket, which is the NYX Avent Pop. This is the palette in Art Throb. They have three of them, which they all tempt me because they're so pretty, but this is the one I have, and I probably. Well, I'm going to try real hard not to buy any more, but this is what we're working with. And I'm trying to decide if I want to be kind of crazy or neutral or what I want to do, but this orange is kind of calling my name. As you can see, the cranberry, I have a, a pretty big dip in it. I use that one a lot. But let's go ahead and use this orange. And we're going to use just a blending brush. This is the Real Techniques dome shadow brush and so I'm just going to dip it in and put it in my crease but keep it as close to the crease as possible so just tap it in and this does have a lot of powder so tap it off and then um, we'll go ahead and just put it in the crease
Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk blending brush. And I'm going to tap into this pink color to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to pick um, one color just to kind of marinate all of those colors together. This silver color. I used it the other day with the green, um, the darker green, and it was really pretty because it made it more like a metallic color. So I'm going to see if I kind of get that same effect just using my finger. I'm just going to tap it over my lid. Well, I really only wanted to put it in the center, but I put it all over. So let me blend that out. <laughs> what? And then I'm going to take that amethyst color and just put it on like the outside edge of my lids just to bring it back into the look. <laughs> Got a little, a little carried away right there. So just kind of whew, twist it up. <laughs> There it is, and just put it on the edge. I'm sloppy, so be sloppy, be detailed, whatever you want to do. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to blend those two together, and then I will just run that brush through the crease again without any extra product. And I didn't add any product the last time I ran it through my crease. Just to kind of blend everything out. This is kind of a strange color mixture, but I think it's really pretty at the same time. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is take the black that's in this, and I'm gonna use a little brush. I'm gonna use a little brush, the accent brush by Real Techniques. I'm just gonna dab it into that black and then run it along my lash line just to add a little bit definition and this also helps the your eyelashes look fuller after you add mascara. I'm not really I'm not good at drawing a wing liner and I also don't wear false lashes. So if you are like me, then this will help kind of give you that more that definition that wing liner and lashes give you. stamp it along it kind of helps make more of a straighter line and doing this way it's more of a like a smudged a smudged look so um you can be a little bit messy with it and you can just see how it added a little bit of definition so mm -hmm. I am going to I'm going to go back and add some brown into my crease to add a little bit more definition, but I'm going to add that uh, when we get to bronzer because I'm going to use my bronzer to do that. So next up, I am going to zoom you out and what should we do? Okay, next I'm going to use this is a Day Tint by Doc Dr. Jart and so this is like a BB cream. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my face. And there's not, this is just a little sample size, so there's not a lot in it, but it kind of has a lot of yellow color in it. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about how I feel with it. I've got, this will be my third juice I've gotten out of it, and when I apply it, I don't really like it, but I think it wears well through the day. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face. I'm going to use my fingers for the most part and then I do have a beauty blender that I will use to push the rest into my skin. So do you guys project pan or do you know what that is? Maybe I should tell you guys if you don't know what it is. Project panning is when you look into your collection and decide that you have, I don't know, five, seven products that you really need to use up. Maybe they're near the expiration date. Maybe. It's just something that 
you don't love but don't hate you just don't want to waste it and so you just put them in a project give yourself a time limit I find three months is best and then um, use it up basically and it's a um, it's like a challenge to yourself and I find it really helpful because I go through so much makeup and I like to throw cream products in because cream products do not have a huge lifespan and so that's why you've seen so many cream products already and you're gonna see a few more but um, it's huge in the YouTube world if you're not really someone who watches a lot of YouTube but it's also I mean it's doable for anyone who, even if you don't watch a lot of YouTube or make YouTube videos um, it's just good because you know sometimes you just acquire a lot maybe not makeup but like body products like lotions body wash um, that kind of thing so or candles I know people kind of accumulate a lot of candles too and so it's just a good way to say okay in the next three months I'm going to use three of these products and it, I don't know it just makes you feel better about buying them all because you know you're using them so yeah I think that's pretty good for the um, day tint and you can see it looks okay it's a very light coverage um, which is what I prefer. I'm sorry I keep looking into the viewfinder, but. Alright, so now we're going to add a concealer, and this is also in a project pan. Um, the, it's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. It's a full coverage concealer, and so, ooh, excuse me. I put it on my finger, just a little bit, like that, and then I... It's such, since it's such a thick product, you want to rub your fingers together to warm up the product so that it goes on your skin better. Project pans are good too if you have a lot of sample products. Just throw those babies in and get through them. See, look how this is full, full, full. Um, I take it on the sides of my nose. Take it under my eyes and then take it out just a little bit. Wipe the excess off with a paper towel. And then I find a beauty blender is the best way to push in these full coverage products. I had a concealer in this Love to Project pan. This is the second concealer. And so what I've been doing with it is putting on um, either just nothing or a um, BB cream putting on the concealer and then the powder that I'm about to show you but I find that it's good if you're someone who doesn't like heavy coverage but it still covers up those areas that uh, we don't like like the dark um, circles under the eyes or just maybe um, it also, like what am I trying to say? It also evens out discoloration. And you have, okay, this concealer, you have to really push it in because it will give you crease marks and make you look aged. I don't really like this concealer. I don't recommend it, but I'm working through it. Project Pan, that's what they're, they're for. Just work through it. So I am going to push this in a little bit more and then let it sit sit for a little while because I want to add a couple more products all right so next I want to add highlight I go through cream highlights so quickly and if you want to know how I'll show you <laughs> if it is a liquid highlight I will put it on either in my moisturizer and rub it on or I will put it in my foundation and rub it in but I have a stick form of cream foundation. This is the Benefit What's Up. This is the one Kim Kardashian uses. But anyways, um, what I do, I almost dropped it, is I put it where I like the highlight. So like right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And I mean, you're really going to get through some, like a product like this if you use it like that. So I just rub it on here, here. Just be sloppy. It's okay. We're going to blend it in. I put it down here. Just to do a little bit of um, just a little craziness. I have really dry skin, so I love highlighting to make 
there be life in my skin. Um, because without it, it's just kind of, eh, meh, you know. So you're going to push that in with the Beauty Blender. It's snowing outside. It's trying to snow hard, but it's not getting there yet. It's just a little sprinkles of snow right now. Alright, and that's good for the highlighter right now. And you can see it like, hi girl, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you see that on people's faces, it is not natural. They have a really nice product that is making them do that. So, next, another cream product that I'm using up is a contour stick. And if you've watched my videos or have seen me in real life in the past month, then this is the situation that's happening behind the scenes. So for this sculptor, I'm using, it's called the Tarte the Sculptor, and I don't really like this product. I think it's very orange, so I don't recommend that you go out and purchase it, but if you have it, um, just use it. You can get through it, but you're just going to go here. Oh, hey girl. And you're going to go here. I just keep it here and I don't go all over my face because I mean it's a little unnecessary for everyday use in my opinion but I just use my beauty blender to push it into my skin look at that mm -hmm. I'll see you girl I am a put I am putting a little bit more than I normally would just for sake of the camera because if I put this the same coverage that I do on a daily basis, it's not going to come across the camera to you. So if it looks like I'm being a little heavy handed, it's because I am. Just for the sake of you all being able to see what I'm doing exactly. Um, but in real life, I maybe, you know, I won't put as much of a product on my face, if that makes sense. So like that contour, it was really thick just so you could see it on camera. But in reality, I probably would have done a thinner swipe of it. So now we're going to go back to pushing that concealer in because we are about to set it with a translucent powder. This is Be A Bombshell. I depotted it into this container because the original container was too small to use. So if I can get the top off. So it is a translucent powder and I'm going to use a setting brush. This is the Real Technique setting brush. And so I just take a little bit and tap it because, like, you can see all of that powder come up. You don't need that much on your face. I don't like loose powders because they are very difficult to use for that reason. But, again, that's why we're painting it. So you're going to tap out that concealer because you don't want creases. Tap it out. And then you're going to add this where you just tapped it out. Alright, same thing on the other side. Get some more powder, tap it out, then tap out your eyes, get rid of those creases, and then set it. And sometimes I will take that beauty blender and just kind of push it all in. I love beauty blenders or the Real Technique sponge. They're both great. I think it really just helps your makeup look very much natural, more natural, more seamless. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now we are... <laughs> now we're going to set the rest of the face. This is another Project Pan item. It's Milani Natural uh, Powder Foundation whoop, in 03. And I love using this brush. It is the Air Brush Essential Bronzer Brush, brush <laughs> by Ulta by Real Techniques. And it's really nice because you can just kind of stamp it in and then stamp it all over your face. And then go in again, tap it off, stamp it all over your face again. And this sets all of the <laughs> cream product <laughs> that we put on the face so that when you add your bronzer, highlight, whatever, it's going to look well, it's not, it's going to apply more easier. 
So there we go. There is that. And so another project pan item is this Tarte bronzer. And it is a Park Avenue Princess. It has a little bit of glitter in it. But I'm going to tap my crease brush in there and run this in my crease to break up some of that orange color. Alright, and then I'm going to take another brush. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Tap it in a little bit and just kind of bronze up a little bit. No need to get crazy because we did do that contour. Run it below the chin. So that's good for that. And then we are going to do a little bit of blush. I don't have a blush in a project pan. So I'm using um, B Matte Blush by City Color and Pink Grapefruit. I am going to take a blush brush by Real Techniques. And since this is a very pigment color I'm struggling with this mirror but um you just tap it in one time and that's honestly good and then you just swirl it on the backs I like to keep it on the backs of my cheekbone same on the other side and then I'm going to add another highlighter because that's where I'm at in my <laughs> that's the point I'm at in my life um so this is an eyeshadow by NYX called Girl Talk, and it's just gorgeous for a highlight. It is not subtle by any means, but I just go ahead and use my finger and run it on the tops of my cheeks. Mm -hmm. I'll see you, baby. All right, and then I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm going to add um, some... L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper to my eyebrows, and I'm going to add some mascara, but these are not in Project Pants, so let me go do that real quick. Alright, so I think the only thing that's left are the lips, and so this, I have two more Project Pan items to show you. The first is this uh, Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color in Super Strawberry. So I'm going to add that on and then over it I'm going to put this NYX, um, NYX Butter Gloss and Eclair. This is another project pan item. I'm going to put these on right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you learned something about project pan and maybe I have inspired you to use up what you already own instead of going out to buy something. And yeah, I'm really enjoying these products. I enjoy the looks that I've been coming up with and you know I'm all about the glow. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, the project pan videos will be linked down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!